Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and install the GoPro FX3 Frame plugin. It is a very useful plugin that you can use to edit your 360 video that filmed with the GoPro. I'm going to show you how to use the keyframe to select and use the angle you want. First, you can Google GoPro FX3 Frame plugin and go to the GoPro FX3 Frame and go to the website. And here you see there's a download FX3 Frame for Mac and for Windows. So make sure to download the right one for your computer system. The download page will open in a new window. So you press on download and once it's done press on the file to extract it and here we go so you can press continue and follow the instructions I'm not gonna do it right now because I already have it installed now I'm gonna import the videos from the GoPro camera so I connect the camera and locate the DCIM folder I open the folder and then you'll see the file so the extension for the videos uh, ending with INSV and the photos INSP I'll drag and drop to a new folder so I'll have a copy of them on my computer now we open Adobe Premiere Pro we hit the new project Locate the project. Choose the location where to save it and name the project and press create. In the project panel, right click new bin, name it videos and right click new bin or your photos. You can also import your photos here and add them to your videos. Select the files you just copied. I selected all the video files ending with INSV. Drag them to the video bin and I select all the photos and drag them to the photo bin. I'm gonna double click the photo to see how it's open. And the video, here we go. It's working good. Now we need to create a new sequence. Let's check the resolution. You see here it's 3840 by 1920. Now it's time to create a new sequence. So here we can choose um, the SLR, 1080p, 25 or 30 frames per second. We can check more setting here. I'm gonna go with the DSLR 1080p, 25. It's easier for me when I assign the keyframes. So I'll go ahead and name the sequence. and press OK. Alright, so now I'm gonna drag a video to the sequence. Let me check this video. Alright, I'm gonna drag this video to the sequence. And here you keep existing settings we don't want to change the sequence setting because we chose the HD 1080p 25 so you go to effects and you search for GoPro FX reframe you just type reframe drag it to the clip and now go to the effect control panel and select it you'll see here you're gonna do keyframe for the pan title you can do the rotate lens zoom all 
All right, so let's the, see this scene. All right, so I'm gonna place a keyframe here and move around with the camera pan. All right, for example, if I want this scene to go from the top, you notice I, I put a keyframe at the beginning. So here I adjust that tilt. So let's see how this works. I always do keyframe at certain points so I don't mess up mess it so I'll go to the end and also adjust the tilt okay here I'm showing So here I want to remove myself from the scene, so I'll adjust the keyframes. Delete, you can select the keyframe, delete it. Okay, and start all over again. Okay, this is like a drone scene. All right. maybe here we need to do tilt a little so we can see the water and then the camera will roll up yes I'm gonna select a new scene let's see this one this is look nice with the water. I'm gonna drag it to the CQ ones. Alright, let's select the endpoints. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the FX, go Pro FX Reframe, select it and drag it to the clip. And in the projection setting, make sure to choose the GoPro 1920 1080 so you'll have the HD quality. So I'm gonna search for an endpoint here. And we do a keyframe, we adjust the pan and the tilt. Okay. You always can play around before placing the keyframe. Just make sure that every time you move the pan or the camera on the panel, you're placing a keyframe. In this scene, I'm going to show you how to add speed uh, to a walking scene while walking with your 360 camera. So again, I'm going to go to FX, GoPro, FX, Reframe, plugin, select it, drag it. The best way to control the camera is to use the program panel. You can click on the screen and move 
like this so you can select the lens curve zoom pan rotate it depends where you press on the screen and then a keyframe will be added to the timeline So as I mentioned, you can do this on the program panel. You can move your camera. So now I'm gonna do this quickly, add more scenes while walking in the woods. You can play around the way you want. And do the adjustment you want. This is just a quick video to show you what you're able to do with the keyframe. Now I'm gonna adjust the speed of this clip. So I right click, press on speed, and I'll do the speed 400% more. And you'll see, play it, you see it's, it's like running in the woods or like a drone scene. But we need the keyframes to be smoother, so I select the keyframes. You can select easy in or auto busier. You can play around for, with the easy in or easy out. Then render the scene to see the preview. You can adjust uh, delete, add more keyframe to have the scene the way you want. This is just a quick uh, preview for now and I'll show you how to export this. So we'll put all the scenes together, select the in and out point and go to file, export media. And here you can select it like a Facebook preset or YouTube preset and hit export. After that, you'll have your video ready, converted from 360 degree video to a regular HD video. Thank you for watching.